more uh, more proud of the fight or disappointed with the loss? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm very proud. I did not have it off the tee today, but man, I fought. <clears throat> I really just wanted to push him. I don't know why this happened now. I've been fine for 15 minutes. I wanted to push him. I mean, he is a spectacular golfer. I would say, other than Tiger and I don't even know, he's the most consistent player I've seen. I've known him since college, and he's been like this since then. Number one amateur in the world, number one player in the world, all the, all the accolades. Um, I wanted to make him beat me, and I think I did that. I let him off the hook on... 13, but man, I, I it was cool to see myself push him and not feel like I had 100% of my game. I play great everywhere, but the off the tee to on that back nine. But I mean, it is what it is. I was going to have to put up a pretty remarkable score. I think it's pretty amazing going against someone like John. You know, he's going to play well, so it's almost comforting knowing you're just going to have to play better. He's not going to fold. So I am. Uh, I'm not disappointed in my golf. I'm just disappointed in the ending. How do you describe the environment between, I mean, a series of two-shot swings, a loud crowd, a lot of them back, you know, backing you? How do you describe what that environment was like, especially on the final few holes? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing for me. I wish they'd be a bit nicer to John. It wasn't exactly. I like cheering. I'm not a huge fan of booing unless it's at a, or cheering for bad shots unless it's at waste management. Um, so... But it's amazing to have the support. It hurts me not to, when I won in 21, nobody was here, you know. And it hurts me not to be able to do that with everyone here, my family and friends. But um, I tried, man. Sorry, this tournament just means a lot to me, so. It's like an emotional release. Um, but, yeah, the, the support I get here is so cool, so. I'm going to win it again uh, and be able to do it in front of all these people. So, yeah, that's that. I wish DJ was here for a good joke. But. Oh, man. He's got squirrels stuck in his attic right now, so he's in a whole other world. Doubt he even watched any golf today. Max, uh, what was that chip shot like on 18? How good was the shot you hit, and, and what was the feeling like just watching it almost go in? It was cool. I mean – I wanted to make him have to two putt. I went with the shot that goes in. Probably wouldn't have played that shot if it was Saturday. Uh, and I pulled it off. It was going to need a miracle. I mean, greens are so firm and wasn't the best lie in the world. But I landed exactly where I thought I needed to. I just needed it to rock the pin. Um, but uh, at least I gave, I gave myself the same putt I missed in uh, 21 to go to a playoff. So it was nice to get redemption on that little uh, four-footer. Uh, I... John obviously elevates himself at this point above kind of the rest of the world. Does it feel like he's above the rest of the world? Does he feel inevitable? Is that like an Avengers quote? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. Um, yes, he's probably Thanos. He has a lot of the stones in his toolbox. He's a tremendous golfer. He has zero weaknesses. He has been this dude for a long time. Um, I think he's got the highest win percentage in the last X amount of years. He's got the highest top tens by a mile. The guy's incredible. Um, I think Rory, John, and Scotty are kind of in a league of their own at times. Um, and it's just our job to go catch them. Uh, but, yeah, I look forward to trying my hand at this again. What do you tell yourself throughout the day when you're fighting your swing, you're also fighting the number one player in the world? How do you keep pressing when you maybe know it's not quite there? Well, my irons were so good, so it was really just off the with my driver, so I didn't really feel like I was fighting. I just felt like if I could have a second shot, I'd, I'd, I'd hit a really good one. Um, the course is hard. I mean, I hit a beautiful shot on 16, and it's like a yard and a half too far right, and it, you know, John hit a better one, and his goes close, and I'm fighting to make par. So... Everything felt so good. It's just I needed to give myself a couple more opportunities from the fairway to show that off. I felt like I was playing defense out the rough. And when I get on the 
you know, par three tees or when I was in the fairway, I felt like, all right, I'm going to knock down the flag stick. And I thought I did that. So I feel really good about my game. Um, it's just hard when you're battling him. And, you know, he made, when he made that putt on 14, it put us in a pretty tough spot just because 15 at times you're not really, I mean, you're trying to hit the fairway, but when I did that yesterday, it goes in the bunker and you're dead. So it just feels like you're kind of behind the eight ball. The only thing that really hurts is that lie. I hit a good three wood on 17 and I finally hit a fairway and I had a beautiful three wood, obviously overcut, but that bunker's not that bad. And two days in a row, I got stuck with a funky lie on the down slope. And I would try to hit the shot, which I'm proud of, but I wish it was, you know, if I was a little shorter than where it was, uh, it would have been a bit easier of a shot. So I never really felt like I was fighting myself. I just felt like I was just trying to stay in the fight as long as possible. Uh, and I did. I wanted to go to 18 with a chance. And I did that. Uh, unfortunately, John's just really good at golf. Was 13 just that cut off the trees and just didn't cut? Yeah, I did it three days in a row. I hit this high. I've been just trying to trust my my swing. I was trying. I've been playing this high flary cut off the trees, and um, it's worked. I played that whole three under the first three days, and then today I actually caught out the middle, and it just never really got high enough. I I just struggle with the left miss today, which is rare for me, but. Yeah, that was uh, not, none too fun. I had like 300-something yards in. Uh, so, yeah, that was just an unfortunate thing. But, again, I was uh, proud of how I committed to the shot. I didn't try to guide it. I tried to hit it, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Apologies if you already talked about this. Did your heart get racing a little bit with the chip on 18? Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> that one. It's amazing what willing something to happen can do to both the ball and to your body. But all I saw was the hole. I knew I was going to have to crush the flag stick, but I really, you know, you see Tiger do it so often. And I felt like I got in a little bit of a mini zone where all I saw that ball doing was landing where it did, bouncing, breaking right, and just crushing the flag. And it was cool to pull it off in a way, but, you know, I shouldn't have been in a position where I needed to pitch in from the Kikuya left of 18. So. It's a shame, but man, yeah, it did make my heart race. I just wanted to keep pushing him, and I, I just didn't want it to be over. And when that missed, it was over. Thank you so much. For Thank you all. Take care, everybody.